Good morning, this is Gail and welcome to my channel. So I am working on, I believe it's prompt number four, with the journal to inspire, and it is making a snippet. has to be at least 18 inches long, I think. This one is 20. And what I've done is, I have taken a piece off of this roll, and I have, on top of it, placed a double-sided tape. And I watched uh, Andrea from R.D. Mays do this. And now I'm going to peel up this part. <laughs> this isn't working too well because it's not staying down. Okay, washi tape. You know how that is. It's doesn't really stick very well and um, what I've decided is that I'm going to do half going across and then this half will be up and down so that I have one that I can use for um, yeah as a belly band if I would like uh, going up and down the page, okay? So, anyhow, this worked really well when I did it before, but of course, today, and because I'm just not totally awake, I suppose, there, and it's sticking to me. Oh, Lord, anything that can happen will happen. What I've done is I've gathered a little bits and pieces of things that I think I could work. Uh, it's supposed to be mostly paper, and I have no problem with that. And I am just going to start sticking stuff down. Now, over here, I want to keep in mind that which direction it's going in okay so halfway so I keep that in mind but it feels like it is I'm not crazy okay so this is the one that's up and down that one just fell okay yeah that's like extra <laughs> okay so I think I have enough of those. So now let's see here. I think that would be pretty there. And I am literally just putting these wherever. Nothing. No rocket science here. So let's see. Okay, what else do I have over here? Oh, isn't that pretty? That was from a snippet roll that I made uh, way back over four years ago when my grandson was first born. <clears throat> And that, uh, i got to keep my fingers off, that was um, using paint and stamps and stencils, and that was really fun to do as well, I must say. Um, it was something through Lifebook, perhaps, or... Um, what was the other one? Wanderlust? I'm not sure which one. But through one of those, anyhow. So, I'm going to use this micropore and tape down that one end because it just keeps wanting to lift. And that's a tad irritating. There, see how that goes. See if that's any better. Okay, so some more 
I love this glitter stuff. So I want to put some more of that on. And that I want to put because it has Celebrate on it. That's going to go on a top layer, I think. So, yeah. Okay. This came off of a, a covering of some sort on a package of paper that I received. It was, uh, or that I bought it, was a handmade paper package. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Alrighty, and I have one more of those. So, yeah. Okay. I really like that, so I'm going to stick that there. Oh, and now, when I reach the point where I don't have more room, I will have to start gluing. Ooh, that didn't feel good. It slid right off. Okay, like so. And nothing wrong with that. Yeah, except for it's going to fall over. Jeepers. Just, you know. Okay, now I have little papers left from, you'll recognize these if you've been following with my, um, yeah, when I made my pocket sampler. So, I think I'll throw some of those on here. I'm going to fill in with these. And, yeah. So... Hope everybody's having a great day. I know I am. I am just playing here lately, and it's been grand, I have to say. It's so nice to be able to just go to my craft room and play. Do whatever I feel like. You know, it's wonderful. I must admit. Well, I don't want another blue there. So, let's see what else we can find. Okay. Yeah, more blue. Okay, so I have other things. Oh, look, isn't that pretty? So that might work, and I like that a lot. Okay, if I had this, I'm going to have to add maybe there. Okay, we got words that can go Oops. there. Or do I want to put some more words? This is actually a rip strip from Nikki Ad again that didn't print out so well. So <laughs> it's getting used. There we go. Okay. Then down here. I do like making these. I just, I don't know. I struggle with keeping it just a paper, though, because I love texture. Okay, I think that's good enough there. So now... I think I kind of want to add more texture now. Now I have this stuff I could cut off and put on it. I'm not feeling it, okay? Not feeling it. So 
I have some words. Those will be in the top layer, I think. Yeah, I don't know that I need that. Oh, here were some painting papers, too. I really think I have enough paper on there now. Okay, so now it's more or less kind of adorning it, right? So, what do I want to put on? Do I want to put a little piece of... Yeah, let's just put a little piece of fabric here and there, right? Okay, that one's going to go down there. I feel like that's stuck to the paper underneath, so I have to be careful about that. Okay. And I know you can't see all the way to the end, but kind of good enough, huh? Maybe right there. And is that it? Is that it for the cloth? No way. There were more than two pieces. What am I not seeing? Yeah, there they are. I know sometimes when we do this, we cover up other stuff, but it's all good. I love layers. Okay, just... Maybe a little bit in there. Okay, so now... What else do... Oh, I have this cutie. So, we're getting ready to put on the top layers, aren't we? Okay. I think I'm going to put that kind of right there. This is a number. Could have some numbers, don't we? Yep. These are from... Not sure I remember, I'll be honest. Not really sure that I remember where I got these, but yeah. Okay. Some there. Now we'll do some on the other end. Remembering that that's going to be that way. And here. Okay. Really makes it easier when you gather stuff beforehand and just have it ready. Especially when you're filming, because I hate for people to have to wait on me to collect. Oops, that one didn't want to stick. Collect things, so. Yeah. So I think we're done with those, too. Ah. Oh, so sticky. I did have a little bit of burlap here. But I almost feel like those pieces, no, nah, they're not too big. I was going to say I felt like they were too big, maybe, but we'll see. We'll see, first of all, if they stick with just the glue. They may have to have something else. Because I just love the texture that the burlap brings. Oh. Yeah. It 
<laughs> oh, gracious. Sticky. Okay. So I have three in that section. I know I'm a little obsessive about the odd numbers thing. So I figure three and three. Shoo. There. I do have. Yeah, let's throw in one of those. Mm -hmm. To give a little bling bling a color. Okie dokie. How about right there? And let's do one more. That gives us three in each part. Right? Uh, and you can see I have little bits and pieces falling apart there. Okay. And I need this. More than a little sticky. Okay. All right. Let me see. I have <laughs> threads stuck. Okay. I had to do that. <laughs> Don't like the sticky. Okay. So, what should we put on top? This is a botanical. This was sent to me, and it has a little piece of tape on it, which uh, I don't want to use, but I will use the sticker otherwise. So, uh, a little bit too much glue. There we have that right there, which I know you can't see. You'll see the whole thing when it's done. I have another one of those somewhere. Don't know where. It's here somewhere. That kind of looks like a bird's nest, doesn't it? There's a little lace. There's a little bit of this. I know there's another one of those stickers, so... It's bugging me. I oh, here it is. Right here. Pull that tape off. Yeah. And... Am I the only one who gets so doggone messy? Holy guacamole. Let's put that that way. Okay, now, uh, gracious sakes, I don't know, you think that's too big? It's kind of big, I think it's too big. I have these pieces too, not into them. Okay, so... I have this, which is botanical, which would go that way. Those cover up a lot. I think that's too big. Okay. Well, we're dwindling it down here, aren't we? So, let's see what else we have. That might be a possibility later on. Okay, I kind of like this. And this is all I have left. But I really like that. So, yeah, some of that's going on here. And there we go. Cut off some of that. That's there. Yeah, really pretty birds. Okay. So, keeping in mind that 
it. Okay, oh, that can go because that's too big. This was just that. Okay, we're getting good now. This way I see what I have left to use. I think that needs to go in here somehow. But it's on a belly band. It's going to go up and down. Yeah, I think that might be where I want it. It's kind of wide, but it's okay. It will be the focal point of that belly band is what I'm thinking. Okay. And I don't want it stuck to what's underneath there. Okay. Then we have this cutie patootie. So I think that might go there. These are so old. I have had them in my stash forever. And these may not stick because they are, you know, on that, uh, like plastic, um, like overhead transparency type stuff. So, may not stick. Okay, it's botanical. Probably could have had more birds, but not birds, flowers. That's the word. Thank you. How about we put a butterfly? Yeah, down there. We're going to put a butterfly here somewhere, up there, okay, and got a couple of flowers. I'm not really big on red. So, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put the big red ones on there. I don't really care for them. Well, that's cute with the butterfly. So, how about we put that down here? Okay. We got a bee. These are good for pollination with your flowers. So how about we put the bee right there. And, oh, this is a cute little butterfly. Got to use that. And this isn't even getting into my ephemera book. This is just some stuff I have loose. <laughs> kind of not great, is it? Okay. That one can go there. And of course, when I get ready to put this in my book, who knows what else I might want to add. I think those are too big of chunks. Okay, I want to add Celebrate. Now, not much color. Some of these don't have much color. That Oh, this one's got some. Yeah, if they don't have a lot of color, no sense in adding them, right? I want me some color. Goodness, that's the same one. How many of those do I have? Let's see. Lots of the same stuff. So. Okay. Let's see if these are too big, though. They might be. After I get it all glued, it might be too big, and I might think better of using it. 
Okay, one down here, I guess we'll use. Can't see that, I know, but I'll show you in a minute. And then there's this one, which we can use. Okay. And that one. I don't know. Maybe here. Okay. I don't know if I use one going in the other direction. Yeah, I use just one. Because they really are almost too big for this. But we'll give it a whirl. And I thought I'd add it right there so it's sort of hanging off of the there okay so now just finishing touches kind of I have that little thing I just don't feel like it fits in okay got some words here ah sticky <laughs> this little piece Eh, not feeling it. Okay, so these are just words. This one says flowering. So where shall we put that? How about there? This is specimen thingy. No clue. I can't read that. It's scribbly. Maybe you're not supposed to read it. Okay. That can go there. Alrighty. Then I have this little thingy. I don't know. And that we'll put there. Okay. This says constant and peaceful. Okay. So there. And maybe that there. And now celebrate. <laughs> I think that's going to be it. I was watching my time, but now I've kind of quit, so just looking to see, I'd like to put it under there, but, yeah, celebrate, okay, let me put the lid on this. Oh, wait, I still have, yeah, I have these I could add. I have some die cuts over here. Maybe add just a couple of die cuts if I can. We'll see. Okay, this little cutie patootie goes right here. Okay, and I like little, not huge, just little. 
Here's another little one. I'm actually feeling like, yeah, we're going to cut that, put some right here, and down there. Okay. I think we better call it quits. Yes, I have those, but I think the words are almost too big. Okay. And in terms of time, we're doing uh, great. That's, we're at about, we started at about 9.20, and it's 9.50. So that's 30 minutes. Okay, so let me show you what we have. Okay, and I've got to pull it up. Oopsie, this is falling apart. I don't think I got enough glue on that, but leave it for right now. Nope, it's not going to stick unless I put more glue on it. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Maybe I started the end and it will be easier to pull it up. Yeah. Okay. Pull off these washies. What I can do I have two ways I can stick this down onto the page when I get ready. I could use another piece of double-sided tape and put it on the back, or... See, I was afraid of that. I've kind of gotten stuck down a little bit. Or I can just glue it like normal. Okay. So. Don't think that came off of this. Okay, okay, so let's take a look. Here's, and I might add like some buttons or beads to this when I get ready to use it in my book, which I'm not going to show you that today because I'm going to be working on my altered book um, and doing the cover, which is part of Roxy's challenge. Oops, let me turn it this way. So you get the full effect, because starting here, we're going up and down. Okay. There you go. So, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. I think it turned out well. I don't know what you think, but hey. So now we have this all ready to use, and I will show you how I use part of it in my next video. So thanks for stopping by. Great fun. And as I say, it helps if you gather stuff and have it ready. It becomes a little more efficient. And um, I'll also show you, here's something else I'm working on. And this is the cover I'm working on for my altered book. I've been glossy accenting some dragonflies. I was trying to get the right size. And then, of course, see, I did three different sizes of the picture for the front cover, but I think that's too big, so I think this is going to be the winner. But then the rest of the stuff I'll be able to use inside. 
uh, when I'm done. And then, see, I did some even bigger ones at first, which, you know, again, possibilities for the cover, but I think they won't work. And then I just have all kinds of them. Graphic Sphere is where I got these. I'm a member. And so I just love the colors of some of them. But I feel like the glossy accents really bring out, you know, the wings, which is what you notice on a dragonfly. And they are rather pretty like that and shiny. So, anyhow, that's it for me for right now. I will see you again real soon as I do the cover on the altered book. So, thanks for stopping by. Get out there and create something. Make some art. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Find your joy and focus on it. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.